Uh, let's see what this guy again. Say his name and he appears. I believe in Joe Hendry. I believe in Joe Hendry. Cause they love him in London and Paris and Tokyo, America, Scotland and Canada and Mexico. They say, I believe in Joe Hendry. I believe in Joe Hendry. Say his name and he appears. Joe Hendry is an interesting phenomenon. I remember a friend of mine once said, he looks like if the Vought Corporation from The Boys synthesized a professional wrestler in a tube. And that's a beautiful thing. Joe Hendry has been on the independent wrestling scene for over 11 years. He was a reliable hand, a mainstay of the indie scene in the UK, and someone who did various extra work in cameo spots for WWE. He was a man of solid in-ring skill, good presence, and decent on the mic. In other words, he was just another wrestler. And then he found the power of memes. A meme, as defined by that midwit Richard Dawkins, is an idea, behavior, or style that spreads by means of imitation from person to person within a culture and often carries symbolic meaning representing a particular phenomenon or theme. And when this definition is understood, it leads to the idea of, you know, memetics, the study of memes, memeology, he, she, me, memetics. It's first grade, SpongeBob. And so with this in mind, it becomes incredibly easy to understand why Joe Hendry has taken fire the way he has. His character is essentially what would happen if you took the musicality of Elias, the virality of Fandango's theme song, and the mind virus element of the this man phenomenon. Put them in a Petri dish with just a little bit of compound V, let that seed sprout into a massive viral tree that draws dimes. And I wanna be clear about something. While his presentation and virality are entertaining, by no means do I say all this to mock him or diminish any of his accomplishments or make light of anything that he's done. Because when I hear him say stuff like this. There are many elements to it, but I think I put things together in TNA. So before TNA, I had the gimmick, but not the character. So I had these custom entrance songs that were over and people really enjoyed but that was what I was doing. Whereas the character elements of who Joe Hendry is on television, that came to be in TNA. And I think you can see that in the video, that you can see the Joe Hendry character in that video. And I will say this, it really has taken an army of people to get me to this point. So that's when it started. And then TNA management have worked very hands-on with me and it's just been an incredible learning experience so i think it's putting everything together in the video that you see now for tna you see this you, you hear the songs which i had before but you now see you know <laughs> you see the character elements it becomes incredibly clear how intentional this all is he crafted this persona this gimmick he fine-tuned it and it's his and i think that's the reason that it's viral joe hendry's character is inhabited it's him it's off the wall, but it's so incredibly specific that I believe he's figured out how to succeed where other meme wrestlers have come up short. As talented as wrestlers like Fandango are, the downside of somebody like his character was that it was a case of the theme song is the draw. Fandango was either never allowed to or he never came up with a way to channel his memetic nature into something with continuous returns. Simply put, it was two dimensional. But with Joe Hendry, Pay attention to how his character works. One facet, he mocks wrestlers with a creative, specifically written song that parodies a famous hit. Yo, listen up, here's a story about a little guy that lives in a true world. And all day and all night and everything he sees is just true. Like him, inside and outside, true his house with a true little window.
Another facet, the mannerisms of the gimmick. Like, say his name and he appears. This puts Joe in the realm of a mind virus. He's kind of like a work-rate Freddy Krueger. He's telling the audience that he's going to nicely invade their mind. He's literally spelling out memetics. His presence can be triggered at the very mention of his name. And if you think I'm taking this shit way too seriously, listen to that theme song. That freaking track practically spells it out. It's this sweeping epic, this anthem set to extremely memetic visuals. The hand waving, him on the mountain, it's just memorable. It's memetic. It gives off the, for lack of a better term, aura that everything taking place is the most absurdly important event in human history. It's genius, and most critically, it's not cynical or superior. It comes off ridiculously earnest, but also incredibly self-aware. He likes and reposts people's edits. He's proud of what he created, and he should be. And I think that's what's catching on. It's smart, but not stuffy. It's populist, but not manipulative. It's a genius gimmick, and it might actually point the way forward for wrestling. Really think about this. Joe Hendry's virality caught like wildfire on TikTok, where a great number of its users are probably not wrestling fans. Let's just be real. Wrestling, despite our love of it, it's an extremely niche interest. I sometimes forget that when I'm interacting with, you know, regular people. So sometimes I find myself in conversations like, <laughs> Charlie, how the hell you been, man? <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, uh, just graduated, you know, been working the full-time job search gimmick. Been rather dimeless though, you know, too much longer, I'm gonna have to work a heel turn soon, you know. Not very keen, They have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. But with events like Joe Henry's rise, I want you to consider something. He's not with WWE. Sure, he makes cameos as part of the crossover that they're doing, but he's with TNA. Yeah, TNA Wrestling, the promotion that has come so close to death numerous times, but always finds a way. If World War III pops off in 2025, you bet your ass that TNA Wrestling is gonna be holding shows from a bunker. They don't call it the Impact Zone for nothing. They've been waiting their whole lives for this. TNA Slammiversary recently, which he headlined, just drew 4,000 at the Verdon Auditorium. And sure, a lot of that can be credited with the WWE shine they've been benefiting from, but take absolutely nothing away from Joe Hendry. Joe Hendry has really just been doing what wrestling should have been doing a long time ago, actually using the internet correctly. Look at YouTube dramas, for example. They're wrestling angles. You can't tell me that Idubs versus Sam Hyde wasn't the story of a creator turning heel on his own fan base, incurring the wrath of a loose cannon, abyss-like anti-hero that represents who he used to be. That's what led to this day today. Really? Okay, so are you trying to, are you gonna punk me? <laughs> You're getting punked. Really? How are you gonna, how are you gonna punk me? I'm gonna make you look like a, like an asshole. Really? Which isn't hard to do. Is that, is that really the case? No. Hell, you can't tell me Wings of Redemption isn't the story of an underdog slob taking responsibility and a babyface turn for the ages. He even went over in a squash on Boogie 2988 in a shoot fight that drew thousands. Packed arenas. Wings had full control from the very beginning, and it looked like Boogie was trying to set up maybe a, def uh, a defense counter, and it just never came because of the onslaught of Wings just keep going oh and gosh. going. Do you see that? Man, if this doesn't inspire you, I don't know what does. Test, and therefore your winner, Wings of Redemption. So if you're a wrestler, instead of whining about podcasters, old heads, politics, or your personal insecurities, use social media to foster a character. Develop it and get yourself over. Joe Hendry did it, and I believe in Joe Hendry. Say his name, Kino Crew. Do you believe in Joe Hendry? Whatever you believe, just keep it Kino. Cause life is cinema. Wave your hands from side to side and say Oh, I believe in Joe Hendry Joe Hendry is